Hey everybody, here's a quick tutorial on how to use the new Blender principle shader to create some materials. So we'll start with the monkey head. I'm going to head and give it some color. We're going to use the Pro Lighting Studio to give it a nice background. And the first thing I want to create is a skin. So obviously we need subsurface scattering. So all you need to do is Take this value to like 0.2 and you got a nice subsurface scattering. There's nothing else you need to do, just add in the principle BSDF and just put this value to 0.2. This color is already set and if you render it, it looks like that. Here you go. But this was like a thousand samples so it takes a lot of time. It's not good for animations. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you, or let's go ahead, you can also do it to make a candle, also works with that. The next material is some metallic material. So I've taken a spoon, which is integrated in Blender. All you need to do is use a preferences. You got those extra objects, and I have activated that. And then you can add it here with extras, the teapot, and there's also a spoon. And let's give it some metallic color. So I'll put up the metallic value. Already it is metallic. And all you need to do is turn down the roughness. If you turn it down all the way, it gets like completely shiny, which is, of course, not realistic. Let's put it to like up here, and you got your metallic color metallic material. You can also use it to have it an anisotropic effect. So again metallic on one and we'll add the anisotropic. No roughness and here we go. Metallic one anisotropic and you've got the anisotropic effect. Sometimes you need to add the tangent. So just click it in here and then you can also change the rotation which of course doesn't make any sense in this case because you want to have the effect here. Alright, the next material also metallic. Let's have this like a Christmas ball. So I'll turn up metallic, we turn down the roughness, and all we need to do is add a color, something like that, and let's use a different background so you can see it better. And you got your Christmas ball. Let's get back to the background we used to have. And let's have some rubber material. So if you want this to be like a rubber material, let's say we have another lamp, like up here. Obviously this is not the way rubber looks. So what I do is just turn up the roughness. Basically you've got your rubber material. You can see it nice with the sun head. And here's your rubber for you. The next thing we're going to see is something like a fabric material. So all I did was import image texture, just some fabric from CG Textures. Take that one and we put it here into base color. You already got a little bit of fabric, but of course it doesn't look realistic because it's got too much or too little roughness. If I turn it down all the way, you can see what's the problem with it. It's got some reflections. We don't want reflections. So we put it up to one or close to one. And another thing you want to see is the sheen factor. Put this up. So now if we look at it, how it looks rendered. This is without sheen and this is with a little bit of sheen. So those parts, like there's a lot of hair that re reflect the light and that takes that into account. You can also go ahead and um, just 
put this value up to 5 then of course it's way too much but just to see what kind of an effect it is okay last material glass so put the teapot from blender in here and another thing it's really simple all we have to do is add transmission and I turn down the roughness let's turn it down to zero and you got your glass material by the way I also used a solidify modifier subsurf and solidify I don't think the order yeah, it's, that one was a little better and what you can change with glass is of course the refraction so 1.45 is a little too much 1.33 is realistic you can see all those refractions going on you can even turn it down to like 1 which of course doesn't make any sense because now it doesn't look like glass this is a nice thing you can do if you have like a lens and let's put this up again at like 1.33 so this really has the lens effect. You can even put it up to two. So now it really magnifies, or the other way around. You got the fisheye effect if you put the refraction index lower than one. So that's it. Very simple to make some materials with Blender and with the new principled shader. Have fun.